Hello, everybody in America. Uh, Mom, how's it going? This is your son, Brandon. Um, this is me in my gear. I like to call it my castle. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, I thought maybe if you'd like, you, I can give you a tour of where I live so you can get an idea of it. And I can show you some different things, tell you about some different things. Okay. Uh, right in front of me, here is the table where I work most of the time. I sit here in this spot right here where I'm at a whole lot. Um, mainly because I read right here and I use the computer right here. I lesson plan right here. I do whatever right here. Um, let's see. Let's go around. There's my stove. The fire's going inside there. Uh, if you listen carefully, you can hear it cracking. Um, my stove pipe goes all the way up and through there. Uh, this thing was given to me uh, by my host community when I arrove, when I arrived, when I arrived, when I arrived. Um, I've got my cross hanging right there. Uh, these are the letters that I was sent from America, that were sent me from America. Um, I've got them all kind of stuck up in there. This thing right here is called an outer. It's um, kind of a holy thing. Uh, it's there in the position of the rat in the lunar calendar. Uh, just so you know, the gear, let me do a 360. The gear in general is set up um, according to the lunar calendar where everything is. I won't go into it a lot because I don't know a whole lot about it. I know this is the year of the rat and rats are really good at saving things. So you save your uh, precious things in there. I keep... I don't know. Uh, I think I'm going to keep my winter stuff in there during the summer. Um, here's my coats. You can see, uh, let me get in the better position. My coats, you can see I've, I just kind of hang my dress shirts up right on the thing here. Uh, here's a map of the world that Gwen gave me. Uh, some winter coats and stuff that I don't really have room for anywhere else. So I kind of keep it here on the bed. This is the guest bed. Um, you can tell it's uh, really comfortable. This is what most beds actually in, in Mongolia are like. It's just kind of a sheet on top of a wooden a wooden plank. Um, they were kind enough to give me an actual kind of uh, futon couch bed. Oh, there's my pillow, by the way. The one I bought in UB that's really changed my life. It's, it's absolutely great. I made this cover. Um, really, it's just a sheet that I kind of tied around it. Um, so that I can wash that. I've got a towel here. I was bathing today and kind of, I'm, I, I'm going to say the word kind of a lot. I was, uh, drying off. I was drying off and, uh, so I'm drying the towel off by hanging it up. I have, uh, these three things here are called tumpins in Mongolian. The first one I use to keep, uh, kindling uh, for the fire. Second one, the red one, I use, um, to hold the ash from the fire. I empty out the ash into that. And then the third one I used to bathe with. Uh, red, white, and blue, y'all. And there's some trash that I haven't taken out to the dump yet. Because I just kind of put them in the bag. It's nothing nasty in there, really. Um, right there is my sink. I don't really use it for anything. I, uh, except to hold toiletries to feel normal. I've got my mirror right here that I brought from the States. I'm really happy I brought that. Um, if I were to use the sink, I'd have to like put a bucket down here and then refill this thing a bunch and then empty the bucket and all that. So really, I just I just use cups and stuff uh, and little basins and whatnot to wash myself with. And Here's my water uh, container. I go and fetch water with this thing. And then uh, there's a little bucket back here that I put water into from here. I have to get water about once a week. Um, sometimes less, uh, but sometimes more. So there you go. The water well is about 10 minute walk. And so I just kind of go down there, grab it, come back. It's uh, kind of it's about halfway full right now. Um, here's my kitchen stuff table thing and I have uh, like a frying pan down there 
some extra stuff down here. Wanted to show you something I bought at Thanksgiving. This is uh, Frank's Red Hot original sauce there, and um, I bought it at around Thanksgiving. It's been about a month and a half, <laughs> and you can see what I've done to it. It's a gallon worth, and I've got coffee and soy sauce and stuff down there. Uh, lots of spices and stuff. A lot of this, a lot of things just kind of keep on top. Um, almost always in the gear, the kitchen, the food stuff is kept there. Here's a bookshelf. Uh, American flag that I haven't put up. I think I'm going to put it on that wall. But um, here's a coffee maker that's been really good. Um, that was really expensive. And then I went to another store and I found a better coffee maker for a lot less than this one. I was really kind of upset about it. This is a beer, a Mongolian beer called Singur. If you can read that, Singur. And uh, it was given to me as a present uh, at New Year's, and I haven't gotten around to drinking it yet. Um, I'm not really sure if I ever will, but um, a lot of books. Um, there's DVDs down there. Down at the bottom, uh, that's my uh, summer clothes. Um, here is my incense area. And my incense here, and then I've got this make this incense holder thing I made out of a fish can and some rice. Some matches are there. Uh, water distiller, uh, tea, wa hot water boiler thing. Push that, water comes out. It's a really amazing feature of modern living. Um, hey, here's a Mongolian grammar book. There's Mongolian writing. I haven't even begun to study that stuff but uh up at the top it says uh Mon mongol hefflich she just means uh mongolian grammar um some stuff there whatnot i don't know is that pretty much the tour there's my extra wood um right here just by the way real quick is where i keep stuff so when you send me stuff I use the stuff inside of what you send me and then I use the boxes that you send it and funny I did not plan this but there's your name mom uh, and I just kind of keep that for kindling because it's really uh, cardboard is really good kindling keep it in that box fire extinguisher back there um, and you know and all that is all that um, I'll give you an idea of kind of scrunching myself back up here I guess uh, if I wanted to stand up straight I'd have to come out to here um, and if you can kind of see this is a uh, I don't know if that's gonna do it for you but that's kind of where I'm at um it's back here is really pretty short so usually I'm kind of a little hunched over if I'm trying to walk around um, anyway I study Mongolian a lot um, watch movies, play games right here, uh, lesson plan, um, but a lot of my time has been right here in this seat, um, and that's kind of it, you know, today I had English club, and we played categories, we played a game that I made up that's sort of like Boulder Dash, where I give them a rare, a rarer, English word that they probably don't know and they all try to guess the meaning of it and then they guess um, they write a meaning in Mongolian and then we read them all and they vote on which one they think it is it's kind of a nice way to learn um, some more difficult vocabulary um, I don't know what else to really say or do uh, I'm kind of casual today it's very cold outside I wanted to take you outside, but it's too dark. I, I did a test run with this thing and found it was going to be too dark to show you outside. Uh, maybe I'll do that tomorrow, and um, I'll show you the nice, uh, like, everything's white. It's all snow-covered and stuff, so. Uh, love you all. Uh, thank you for all the support. Um, and uh, if there's any other questions, just let me know, and I'll, I'll make another video, maybe. But I hope this suffices for now. Catch you later.